Okay, hi students, welcome to my makeshift YouTube studio. I've got my computer, got a little microphone to use, everything's here. Okay, so the purpose of this video is to show you how you access the class OneNote. So, a helpful student helped me with the screen recording, thank you to this student. So the easiest way to access the class OneNote is to first get into your emails, and I'm going to get to this student's emails uh, via Connect. Now within your emails, you'll need to search for the class name. So uh, for my year 10s this year, it's 10-1-maths. Uh, year 12s is 12 essentials. They're all pretty simple like that. Eights is 8-5, same sort of thing. So have a look for that. Uh, once you've found the email, it'll say, they'll give you a little link like this one here to open up the um, class OneNote. So go ahead and click that. It'll then open the class notebook in the browser of the, um, the iPad or whatever device you're using, if it's on a laptop or whatever. So what I highly recommend that you do is then close that down but open the OneNote app and then head to the, most of the time it's bottom left hand corner just here where it says uh, more notebooks. Click that, it will show you all the notebooks you have access to. And in this case, it's the 10-1 um, maths notebook that we're going to um, going to look at. So then this, by looking at the notebook in the app, you get access to a lot more um, features. You can make it full screen. You can do a lot more with it. So it's a much better experience, which is why I recommend that you get into it that way. Okay, so the actual layout of the um, class content page. So when it, within the content library, I've got the tabs admin, homework, index laws, factorizing, etc., which is um, etc. rather, which is the topics my year tens have done so far this year. So the actual layout of the subsections themselves, the the sections and the pages in the notebook, is um, they'll be really familiar to everyone because it's exactly what goes up on the board every class. This just allows you to access these notes on your device much more easily whenever you um, need to. The handy thing about using the app as well is that you each get your own little um, section in there that can be accessed by you and by me as well. And where that's helpful, so I'll show you this student here, he's going to set something, um, like essentially he's going to send me a picture of some work that he's done that he wants me to check over. So you can either, if you've got an Apple pen, you can just draw it on the app. You can draw with your finger, but it doesn't usually look so great, but you can if you want to. Um, but this student's gonna take a picture of his notebook and then place that in his section of the class OneNote. And then I'll show you from my point of view. So I'll now go on to um, open my version, so I've not got dark mode on mine because it doesn't show up as well on the <laughs> projector, even though it hurts your eyes a little bit more. Uh, so within uh, this student's, um, I guess, set of notes, there's a, a homework area where he's left me this question. Um, so he said, is the working on this correct? So if you need to send me something like this, if you think you've got something right or it's wrong, but you're not sure why it's wrong, just send it through to me like this. I'll scribble on top of it and show you the correct way to work it out. And again, that's only something you can do by using the, um, the app. So please make sure you get that um, working as quick as what you're able to. Okay, great. Um, any questions, please flick me an email. I hope that was nice and brief and nice and quick. And I'll see you back at school.